What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another supplement review in which we're finally doing a pre-workout. Yes, I finally got my hands on a different pre-workout. I've just been doing coffee pre-workout and I was like, mm, I need to try a pre-workout for you guys. So I grabbed a new one from the logo little supplement shop called Supreme Nutrition and we've got, it's called Buzzed, see right there, by Project Zero. So one I've never seen before nor heard of. So super excited to try this. It just says high stim, super pre-workout, super energy, tunnel vision, dirty pumps, euphoric feels, zero crash. So we'll see if the zero crash is true. I mean, I don't mind too much if it has a zero crash, to be honest, because usually I work out later in the day. So if it crashes after my workout, then I can sleep well. But besides the point, I want to hop into the ingredients. Then we are going to taste test it together. I'll take a sip here, drink the rest on my way to the gym. And then when I get back, I can tell you my initial thoughts. So I've got a nice pool day. So we'll see how the pumps turn out. But anyway, starting from the top, so it's got the milligrams for one scoop and two scoops. So for one scoop, for L-citrulline, you get 4,000 milligrams, beta alanine, 1.6 grams. So that's like the perfect amount for me. Otherwise I get too itchy. So if I did two scoops, it probably would be a little too much. Betine, I can never pronounce that. Anhydrous, 1,000 milligrams. Agmatine sulfate, 500 milligrams. Taurine, 500 milligrams. Alpha GPC, which is alpha glycerol phosphorochlorine. 300 milligrams of that stuff. L-theanine, 150 milligrams. Caffeine, 125 milligrams. So two scoops gives you 250. So that is actually just perfect. So I might do like a scoop and a half. Infinergy dicaffeinate malate. So it's like 75% caffeine. That's 50 milligrams. So it may be more so close to like 300 milligrams if you have like a full two scoops. Then it's got two amino soeptane. Yo, I, I, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know how to like pronounce a lot of things. Um, it's got S7, which is like green coffee bean extract, green tea, turmeric, tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, kale. 50 milligrams of that is very little, but that's kind of cool. And methyl tyramine, HCL, theobromine, astragalus, um, yeah, halostachine. I guess that's for like euphoric feels, all those last few things so it doesn't have creatine which i kind of like because i like to supplement that on the side so i'm super stoked to try this oh my gosh i opened it up and it smells so good so the the names of their flavors are a little interesting this one is called panty dropper i hope i don't get demonetized for that but anyways it's panty dropper which is a cherry coconut and it's got 48 servings if you plan on using one scoop so or 24 if you use two scoops. I can't remember the price, but I'll mention them afterwards when I do like my initial review of this to see if like, is this worth purchasing? So I'm gonna mix up one and a half scoops into a shaker cup with some nice cold water and then we are gonna taste it together and I'll, then I'll go to the gym. I ain't gonna film it, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can go check out the workouts I do on there. So let me mix this up real quick. All right, I got it mixed up right here. Beautiful pink color. It's Like I said, it smells really good for a cherry limeade. At the end, I'll double check like the price and the other flavors that they have, especially if it's good and you guys wanna go try it out. But cherry limeade is not commonly found, so I thought that'd be fun to try. So let's give it a sip. That, that's really good. It's like tart at first, and then a little later you get that cherry taste. But I really enjoy it. It's not too tart. It's like the right amount of like citric acidy like that you get from eating like a sour candy, but it's not like anything too much. A nice light cherry flavor. It is kind of that fake cherry flavor. Kind of like a mix of a black cherry, fake cherry flavor. But regardless, I really, really like the flavor. This is delicious. I like the lime. It's not too overpowering because I know I had, I think it was Redcon 1's pre-workout cherry limeade and the limeade part came through way too much and it was just a bit too overpowering. So this is a really nice balance. 
But anyways, that's not what matters. What matters is the effectiveness of this. So I'm gonna take this with me to the gym. Like I said, go follow me on Instagram if you wanna see the work that I do for my pool session. And yeah, I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back from the gym and I had a great workout, a great workout besides what I have to say about this pre-workout. So my overall consensus of buzzed is I would rate this about like a seven out of 10. And only because 10 out of 10, the flavor is phenomenal. However, even though I took a scoop and a half, I found myself still kind of yawning in the gym. And I don't know if it's just cause I'm sore or what, but I definitely got enough sleep to not be crazy tired. But I didn't feel like I got any like super energy or super focus. My focus was only there because there was like not too many people at the gym and it was just easy to get stuff done. But the flavor tasted really good, so would I recommend it? It's up to you. I think this would work very well for someone who doesn't really take stimulants whatsoever and would be fairly sensitive to this. I think this would be the best bet. Otherwise, I'll probably have to try two scoops. The only thing I'm worried about that is then it has 3.2 grams of beta alanine and that stuff usually makes me itchy. However, with just a scoop and a half, I wasn't itchy or anything, so there's a give and take. I mean, I'm gonna use it. I have it already, you know? So, otherwise, I mean, they do, or it costs $50, $49.99 on their website. The flavors are this one, which is like the cherry coconut. They have one called like McHammered, which is like a mango, lime, strawberry flavor. Sounds interesting. And then they also have like a candy flavor. So, they have three flavors from what I'm aware of. I mean, is it worth the price? If you're gonna do the 48 scoops and just stick to one scoop, absolutely. If you need two scoops, then you only have 24 servings for like $50. It's like $2 a serving. Might as well buy a bang energy drink. So it's it depended on you. Will I buy it again? I don't think so. However, it does taste really good. So I wish the efficacy was just a little higher. So otherwise, I got to try something new with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this pre-workout review. If there is some pre-workout or supplement you guys want me to do a review on, please do comment down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because, you know, there's gonna be more stuff coming out soon. Definitely got some updates in regarding, you know, bodybuilding and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video subscribe all that jam so i'm gonna get out of here i am hungry and i'll catch you in the next video bye